Hey, friendo, Steve here. Hey, Larson. And welcome back to, wait, is this a Punk Daily or not Punk Daily? No Punk Daily. No this Punk might... News, therefore, no Punk Daily. You're right. This might be a lot worse, though. Actually, you know, in a way, in a way, it might affect Punk in some way. If WWE doesn't take him, there's only one other major promotion, not Impact, that might take him, and it's New Japan Professional Wrestler. But here's the problem. They might be owned by Tony Khan soon, Larson. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So there's, there's a video package that aired Saturday in Collision uh, about Wrestle Dream, this pay-per-view that AEW has this weekend. Yeah. And in there, they talk about ending of old, old eras and starts of new ones. And that got people talking and got people speculating about what this new era could be. And apparently somewhere along the way, someone thought up the idea of Tony Khan buying New Japan Pro Wrestling. Yeah. And that speculation, that talk, those rumors, if you will, rumors. started to spread. And so during today's pre-Wrestle Dream media call, Tony Khan always does these media calls before pay-per-views. Fightful yeah. Sean Ross Sapp asked Tony Khan yeah. if he could confirm or deny that he had, in fact, purchased New Japan Pro Wrestling. This is how Tony Khan responded. These transcripts for this entire episode are from Fightful. That's what TK had to say. Quote, I'm a little surprised at how that speculation picked up. And the, specifically the transactional nature of it. We have such a great partnership right now. We're doing such great things with New Japan Pro Wrestling. I was a little surprised to see that. Overall, I've really enjoyed working with New Japan since nearly two years. We've had two great Forbidden Door events. We've seen a number of top AEW stars uh, to Japan to wrestle on Wrestle Kingdom, the top shows. Uh, we've worked together in the U.S. There are people in AEW who have helped develop New Japan and people from New Japan who have helped develop AEW or Ring of Honor. I want to continue that partnership for a very long time. And right now, we have something very good going. I'm a little surprised by the speculation. I don't know where it came from. It's probably a good time to have a lot of speculation on the eve of Russell Dream. And I'm glad we got a lot of people talking. Certainly that one video with all the great clips of Mr. Anoki and top stars of today. I thought it got people talking, and it was a positive thing. At no place in that quote does he say, no, I didn't buy New Japan. Yeah. He also didn't say yes. Okay, he wouldn't, though. Because after that, uh, uh, WrestleZone's Bill Pritchard, not sure if he's related to Bruce at all, uh, asked Khan to clarify what he meant by the end of an era aspect of the Wrestle Dream video package, to which he answered, I definitely have no intention of clarifying those comments. I want people to order the pay-per-view. I think the internet kind of ran away with a speculation based on, I don't know what, I'd love for somebody to go back and look for the first person to say that and track back to where the speculation came from. Okay, pause. Of course he does, because it was a leak. Continuing on. Certainly, I don't know if that particular aspect of it is very credible. There are dots you can connect in wrestling, and there are things I'm very excited about that we've been doing, and I've made bold proclamations before, and I felt I've been proven right by them. We've come a really long way. We've taken big swings at doing new things this year, particular. Uh, in particular, 2023 has been our most adventurous year, and I want to keep doing adventurous things and make fan talk about AEW, uh, fans talk about AEW, and hopefully making new fans of AEW. I think we've debunked some speculation and I'd be happy to debunk the speculation. That is what I was implying because I don't know where that particular rumor got started. I think this year we've also built our reputation in a really strong way without completely spilling the beans of everything we're working on. I really do think it is going to be the start of a new era of what we're doing in AEW, and I'm very excited about that. So let's break that down a little bit. Break it down. Tony Khan's talking now. He did say he did say debunk. He did say debunk. He said, "Where is it?" He says, "I don't know." Okay, I think we've I, debunked some speculation, and I'd be happy to debunk the speculation that is what I was implying, because I don't know where that particular rumor got started. That's as close as as we get in this whole these quotes of him saying, "No, I did not buy New Japan Pro Wrestling." Which seemingly is fairly close. Doesn't mean he didn't buy Bushi Road. I don't know how much. Is Bushi Road like huge? Is it like a massive? Or is it just New Japan and Stardom? No, you no. Know? I think I think they're, they're involved in another stuff. Like a yeah. bigger media company. Yeah, it's a larger company. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, man. I I don't know. 
Uh, certainly he didn't, you know, say a hard no. Let me ask you this. The whole idea of I want to pay homage to Antonio Inoki for a pay-per-view did kind of come out of left field. Yeah. And like yeah. what better way to pay homage to the guy who created New Japan than to do a pay-per-view in the honor of the guy because you're buying New Japan. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I honestly don't know. I don't know. It's, I mean, it, it, it's, there's been weird rumors sprouting up on wrestling internet all week. And this is just one of them. Oh dude. You know, here's the thing. As soon as Elon Musk started doling out those checks, it's, it's weird rumors. It's blatantly false stuff. And it's just blatantly, it's like engagement farming. It's just like, yeah. let me post a really bad take that yeah. that sort of feeds into toxicity and tribalism. And half the time, they're like super intentionally ignorant takes. Like, oh, wow, this has never been done in 20 years. And then everybody points out in the comments how many times it's been done in the last 20 years. Yeah. And it's all because at Twitter is, is like handing out paychecks. But they think that, but that's not, they're not going to get any money off that. Like you have to have no, like. No. No. Like just a shit tons, but every that's that's what it's turned Twitter yeah. into. Yeah, I know. It's I just know. nothing but disingenuous uh, uh, engagement farming. A thousand percent, a thousand yeah. percent, a thousand yeah. percent. Yeah, and it's, it's infected always, wrestling as well. It has, it has. People just post stuff and like, oh, well, no, yes, wait, is this true? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's just it's ridiculousness. Yeah, it's 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 you know, it's made it's making Twitter almost unusable. It's one of a number of reasons that. Twitter is on the verge of being unusable. Like or I've never well passed that point. Oh, dude, no. I mean, look, the, you, obvi there's the obvious ones as well. But just in terms, if you're able to filter out, you know the you know the owner, <laughs> and uh, and and all the you know extremism that you see there, when it's when you're simply trying to gather information, it's a sea change from what it used to be before. I know. Really when you is. see something on like you know in your thing, and you want, man, I need some sort of verification on this. Usually, you could just scroll a couple times and see like in the top you know, blue verified sources of information. And now it's yeah. the exact yeah. opposite. Like know, you can't trust anybody, especially nope. the blue check marks. Exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, do I think he bought new Japan? No, no, I don't think he did. I, 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 I would, I would probably lean more towards. I have no idea because like, I wouldn't be shocked. I, I absolutely would not be shocked. I wouldn't even be surprised at this point. Like when I saw this, I was like, oh shit, that kind of might actually make some sense. But I don't know. You would think maybe, let me ask you this, is part of the reason why you don't think so because this is the sort of thing that's too big to be kept under wraps? No, I don't necessarily think that's it. It's just my gut's telling me that I, I just find it unlikely. I just find it unlikely. Not to say it's impossible, or if it were to happen, it, it would. I would necessarily find it surprising or shocking. Because no, I wouldn't. But at the same time, I just it just seems unlikely. That's and it. Compared compared to this, though, like I don't know what this end of an era thing is. Doesn't... Oh, you had it right. It's, it's monthly pay per views. That's what it is. Okay, but doesn't monthly pay per views and even maybe a max announcement doesn't that seem? I don't know. I guess, look, Tony Khan is known for making big announcements that are not quite really that big. Yeah. But it's been a while since he's actually done that. Yeah. And I don't know. I, I'm sort of prepared for, for anything. And, and it wouldn't shock me if, um, you know, maybe I'll offer this. Mm. Maybe there's some sort of newer, more official um, uh, relationship between the Ring of Honor brand and the Strong brand. Eddie is champion of both of them, and That's maybe true. that That's was true. for a reason. Maybe AEW is going to run the, the American New Japan arm. That seems be. weird, but I don't know. Maybe there's going to be some sort of formalization of their relationship. Or it could just be a manner. situation where, where Strong... Uh, what? Because what they air on New Japan World now? Oh, is that all? Is that the only place they? I air? think. Okay. Um, maybe it's on Fight. I don't recall. But maybe Otter Club will get New Japan Strong. Boy, that's a bit of a pedestrian thing. I would think. 
I, don't I would know. think it would I mean, be like a merging of uh, like some sort of like bigger merging of brands or something like that, or or like a more you know, involved if, partnership. If the the start of a new era is 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 moving all of AEW's back catalog to Max and 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 airing pay per views on there without an additional fifty dollars per show. Yeah, yeah, that oh that yeah yeah saving that's people that's a pretty money. major thing. Saving yeah, people hey, money is a pretty big thing. Yeah, it's a major thing. So yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm onto something. There. That would the be the New start Japan, of a new era there. New Japan Strong, or it's, yeah, New Japan Strong and Ring of Honor merging. I wonder how that would work out. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't Anyways, know. Something I don't know. to keep an eye on. We'll find out uh, this coming Sunday. Yeah, that's Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, oh, it could be a monumental gracious. day in the history of pro wrestling. Or... End of an era, or just the beginning Good. of saving a couple bucks every month. Hey. I'll take it. I'll take it, too. I'm not uh, huge on him owning New Japan, though. <laughs> I don't want that to be the case. No, I, 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 I don't think it's good for the wrestling business for one person to have too many promotions in their portfolio. No, I don't it's either. Good for wrestling. No, it's bad for wrestling. It's bad for wrestling. Uh, speaking of uh, AEW, could they be part of Warner Brothers Discovery's portfolio? So elsewhere in the same conference call, Wrestling Observer himself, Dave Meltzer, asked Tony Khan, "Are there any?" If there had been any discussion about Warner Brothers Discovery buying a stake potentially in all elite wrestling, this is how Tony Khan answered. Again, these transcripts come to you from Fightful. Tony said, quote, something we've talked about a lot. There's been a lot of conversations about that. It's always about always been something I've been open to between Warner Brothers Discovery and myself. A lot of the financial and structural details of our partnership we know to keep between us. But there are things that have always said to be true that I own 100% of the voting stock of this company and that I have 100% of the decision-making power in the company. But open taking on additional partnerships or things of that nature. We have a really great deal right now with Warner Brothers Discovery, and I'd love to have an even longer agreement. As for them and their stake in the business, that is something that would be between us, but I would also be open to that. To Warner Brothers in a future deal, having a piece or a bigger piece, potentially, but I would want to maintain 100% voting control as I have now. I want to maintain the majority of the stock, which I have now. These are things that are important to me, but in a future deal, these are things I'd be open to. There's nothing bad about it. We've seen in pro wrestling this year a change of control. I have no interest in a change of control. Would I be interested in taking on additional investment? Yeah, potentially. It would have to be the right numbers. It would have to make sense for us based on how much our business has grown this year. As for a change of control... Or giving up voting stock? No, I have no interest in that. He doesn't want to. So be if he's part looking of for an TKO. infusion of cash. He yeah. wants to go to Shark Tank at Warner Brothers Discovery, right? Yeah, and say you could have two and a half percent, right, for X number of dollars. Yeah. Hey, Mark Cuban. Hey, I don't know who any of the other people are. I would know if you said, "Hey, where's this guy from?" I'd say Shark Tank. I know the faces. I do too. I know there's like the dude with hair. There's a guy that's bald. There's the lady. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's Mark yeah. Cuban. <laughs> there's Mark Cuban. Yeah. He's yeah. the only one I know. Um, yeah. You know, that's cool. Whatever. Like, uh, you know, Max, I mean, this is all wrestling plus type stuff, you know? It really is. I mean, like elsewhere he talked about, someone asked him about uh, potentially uh, going to Fox for broadcast rights. He's pretty much like, no, I'll actually take less money to stay on Warner Brothers Discovery. He seems very loyal to Warner Brothers. He mentioned, he used the word loyal. He says there's not a lot of loyalty in media anymore, and he wants to be loyal, yeah. which I appreciate. Um, yeah. He also uh, was asked about Jade Cargill. He said, mm -hmm. hopefully she's happy and uh, happy to have her back if she ever wants to come back to AEW. Jade Cargill, uh, every statement she said, uh, indicates that that's not going to happen. Yeah, um, probably not going to happen, no. So I no. think this was on, yeah, the Ring of Wrestling show. She mm -hmm. had an interview there. Um, uh, she spoke on if she believed there were opportunities that were not taken advantage of, uh, fumbling, for example. Um, mm -hmm. She says she uh, uh, she wished her time in AEW. Oh, were there opportunities that uh, weren't taken advantage of during her time in AEW she wished would have been different? She said, I wish I could have worked with the amazing women who are holding the main belts. That's one of the things I really wanted to do. A couple of them reached out to me and wished they could have had that match, and I wish so as well. I could have gone on the mic with a lot of those ladies, but TV time is short and we have to work through what we got. But I could have had some dream matches before arriving to the grand stage. Do you imagine what a sea change is going to be for her to be there in WWE now? That's going to be, be massive. That's going to be, be crazy. Massive. Yeah, that's going to be, be absolutely crazy. Um, but no, he had good things to say about her. And then apparently uh, Wardlow uh, is still with the company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and when they find something right for him, he's going to be back on TV. 
Those yeah. are my main takeaways from his media call today. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, uh, yeah. Let us know what you guys think about this in the comments below. How terrified are you that Tony Khan would now own New Japan Pro Wrestling if that actually does take place? Yeah, my gut kind of says no, but boy, that'd be crazy. That'd be pretty crazy. Gut yeah, says no, but yeah, it'd be crazy. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Anyways, unless unless Tony Khan himself joins House of Torture. That could be entertaining. That could be wildly entertaining. I'd be down with that. Yeah, yeah that'd be something. It'd be something Anyways. him and evil and show. Yeah. I'd be Dick Togo. Dick Togo. Dick Togo. Yeah. Exactly. Man, hey, imagine Tony Khan reveals his newest member of House of Torture. Does the mask reveal like Dick Togo did. That'd be great. Yeah. That'd be great. Anyways, that's going to do it for us, everybody. <laughs> Leave a comment. Hit the sub button. Hit the thumbs up. We'll see you around. Goodbye. <laughs>